this video, we'll take a look at the four primary reasons that bears attack people. Now this video is going to be quite a bit longer than the usual three minutes or so, but I wanted to make sure to cover all the bases, so I hope you don't mind. A study of bear maulings and bear attack statistics from reliable sources show that human beings have a much better chance of being struck by lightning than being harmed by a bear. In fact, far more people are harmed each year by things such as contracting Lyme's disease from a tiny tick than being harmed by bears. Nonetheless, one needs to be well educated and fully prepared before entering bear country in order to stay safe and respectful. It's also extremely important to obey the bear safety requirements of an area that you'll be spending time in. As you probably know, there are many different species and subspecies of bears throughout the world. These different bears vary in size and behaviors, and even bears among their own species can have very different personality traits, such as their levels of aggressiveness. But bears of any kind generally attack humans for one of four reasons. Threatening their food, or what they perceive as their food. Threatening their personal space, such as surprising them or waking them up. Threatening their young, even when done so unintentionally. And predation. Yes, though it's very rare, some bears do intentionally prey on people. Let's take a closer look at these primary four causes of bear attacks. Bears are often referred to as carnivores. But most are actually omnivores, as they eat a wide variety of foods, including plants, animals, fish, insects, carrion, and even garbage. Food is obviously a very important part of a bear's life, and even though most bears don't spend all of their time looking for food, they do strive for efficiency while gathering and consuming the food they need to survive. That being the case, bears can get quite protective and sometimes very aggressive when their food, or what they perceive as their food, is being threatened. Therefore, it's important to be aware of what types of food sources are in the area that you'll be visiting that could possibly attract bears, and then make it a point to avoid those areas if at all possible, or at least be very cautious. Additionally, it's also important to make sure that bears are not attracted to your food either, which can be done by keeping a clean camp or picnic area, using bear-proof food containers and coolers, a portable electric fence, keeping your food out of living and sleeping quarters such as tents, and in most cases, simply exercising common sense. As I explained in a previous video, bears have the best nose on the planet, and they live by their sense of smell. So being hyper aware of food and other attractive odors around bears is critical for safety. Nobody likes their personal space invaded or to be rudely awakened from sleep. If someone broke into your home or stumbled into your bedroom, you would no doubt be pretty upset and you may even react with violent aggression while fearing for your safety and that of your families. It's no different for bears. While some bears may react to such an invasion by running away, others may lash out with a violent attack to neutralize what they perceive as being a threat. So before heading into bear country, you need to know what areas and what terrain features could potentially be a bear's primary personal space, such as bedding areas in thick brushy terrain, the primary feeding areas for bears, their main travel routes, and so on. I'll cover all this in a future video, so stay tuned. Naturally, you need to always move through a bear's domain as safely and respectfully as possible, and always strive to stay a long, safe distance away from bears that are obviously present. Now this is an especially important area of concern for photographers who sometimes try to close in on animals to get a better shot, which can be a fatal mistake for both the photographer as well as the bear. As a reminder of this, back in 2012, a man was killed by a grizzly bear in Denali Park while apparently trying to photograph it at too close of a range. Along with the photographer tragically losing his life, the bear also ended up being killed as part of the investigation, which is usually the case in such circumstances. Mother bears are famously protective of their cubs. In fact, 
Hell hath no fury like a mama bear who fears her cubs are being threatened. This is because mother bears invest a great deal of time and energy raising their young. Mother bears, or sows as they're referred to, typically take care of their cubs for one to three years, depending on the species, and teach them everything they need to know for survival. One of the greatest threats to cubs can be adult male bears who prey on the cubs both for food as well as a means of making the female bear come back into her reproductive mode once again. As a result, mother bears can be incredibly powerful and aggressive when it comes to defending their babies against other bears as well as anything else they perceive as a threat, which in many cases are humans. So obviously, one should always make it a point to steer clear of sows and their cubs when they're present. However, there's always the potential of unexpectedly encountering a sow with their cubs along a trail or a river or anywhere else while in bear country. There's also the potential of a cub wandering away from his or her mother, resulting in the mother coming to look for it. Many bear maulings have occurred in such circumstances when a human accidentally gets in between a mother and her cub. Thus, extra attention should always be given to completely avoiding sows and cubs whenever possible. In unusually rare circumstances, there have been cases of bears actually pursuing people as prey. Now the reasons that bears actively prey on humans can vary from desperation for food to an unusually aggressive personality or other factors. While most bears are either indifferent, wary, or just curious of people, and they generally behave according to those dynamics, predatory bears are different. They're meticulous, patient, persistent stalkers. And while the primary purpose of most bear attacks is simply to neutralize what the bear perceives as being a threat and the attack ends as soon as that's accomplished, predatory bear attacks, on the other hand, will continue until the prey is killed or fights back hard enough to end the attack. The specifics on how to behave in bear country and what to do in the event of an attack can be somewhat different for the different species of bears and the different places they live. So again, before you head into bear country, get well educated about the area and the species of bears that may be present. Make it a point to always follow the rules and regulations and stay bear aware at all times. I'll be making more videos on many of these topics in the future, so stay tuned. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, be sure to subscribe to this channel and check out the 3 Minutes Outdoors website at 3minutesoutdoors.com. And finally, if you'd like to support this channel, click on the link in the video description below to find out more.